I've been working on a fly formula for a long time. First day back, man. See, it might get ugly. I've taken 100 years of experience from my mentors, a physics degree, and combined that with the knowledge from sports chiropractor, Dr. Rob. And that's how we're gonna attack foam rolling the calves. I got hung multiple times at the gym. <laughs> that experience forced me to take a closer look at my training. I set a new goal to dunk off vert. At the time, I had really bad knee pain, but I challenged myself to figure out how can I get bounced safely and get rid of knee pain as well. Now we're gonna to get to more of a fluid jump. We're gonna make sure that we're swinging our arms and we're reaching up high, we're pointing the toes down, and that we're spending the least amount of time on the ground. I analyzed the motion of the vertical jump mathematically using Newton's laws. The key variable in all of this is the time. The lower the time, the greater the force. The higher the time, the lower the force. As my times decreased, my force output was increasing. The next thing that I started to do was increase the mass and the velocity. I knew that if I could increase both of these while still keeping my time down, a vertical jump would skyrocket, and it did. Eventually, I dunked off vert. I was hyped, but I wasn't completely sold. I thought it would be a good opportunity to repeat the process, and I started taking off with my left leg. At this point, I'm like, I might as well give it a go off my right leg. I couldn't jump worth nothing off my right leg. Good, good, didn't hit me. I got the dunk off my right leg. That's when I got super hyped. It was also pretty cool seeing how the clients that I was working with were benefiting from the program as well. Explosive blow by. Oh, ouch. That was blow by. Yep, 22. That's gonna do it. Here he goes. Right by Chandler. 